What's going on, everybody? My name is DeAndre Campbell here with the fifth episode of the Catch and Cover series with Warrior Academy. In episode five of the Catch and Cover series, we will be breaking down highlights on the offensive and defensive side of the ball that were key plays and key components, in my opinion, in University of Washington getting the win over Oregon State. We will also break down tools and techniques and coaching points on how to be better overall as a football player. Lock in and let's come elevate our game the Warrior way. Let's go. Well protected. And that is complete to Roma Dumze or the top receiver. Cut split by Roma Dumze here at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So because of the cut split, once he runs across the field on this deep over, he already has the leverage that he wants. The corner number four. He's so far behind that all Rome has to do is just get across the field. Pendick sees him running across and just lays the ball out there for him to run under it in stride. Because the two receivers are able to clear out the space on the other side across the field, Anumze was able to get open on the deep over. This gets it off from the pocket. Zips it to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Rome Odunze. It's the experience. That's another third down. Their third third down on the slant go for the touchdown. Huskies on top. Beavers' first possession coming up. This is a great job of running a fade route versus a corner and off coverage. First thing you have to do is close the space like Adunze is able to do here. Okay, he closes the space, gets on his toes. When he makes his move, he makes his move in a way to where his head and shoulders are going wherever he goes. So the corner has to respect that because when his head and shoulder goes, his hips also go with him. So number four goes with that first outside step, which is why he slides in, which is allows Adunze to get back outside on the fade. Adunze does a great job of attacking him vertically first, and then with the left, right, head and shoulders going inside, breaking back out for the fade ball. He also does a great job of going late hands right here. He doesn't reach for the ball, he goes late hands, so that way the corner doesn't have an opportunity to knock the ball out of his hands. Islands, and he's holding up. It's a great little slant, little burst to the outside. Great technique right here by Jabbar Muhammad. He had a great game, all right, locking down a lot of receivers. So he's smooth in his pedal right here. All right, he's reading through that upfield shoulder when he breaks to the post, but he sees he breaks back, and you can see he has the ability to flip his hips right there and redirect with his hands. So now he's able to redirect the receiver and stay close to him so where now he knows where he is, he can look up and track that ball and does a great job of batting it down. He's staying in phase right here. He's reading through the quarterback first. He sees that he's running further than five yards. So he stays in his pedal, but he's square. He also can stay square because he knows he's in the red zone. When you're in the red zone, you can take more risk and you can squat more. Good job on this post corner. After the fumble, to stop him cold and force a field goal attempt. Penix for the end zone. Again, flags come out. He tried to get a dunes. Okay, you look right here. You see it's an empty set. All right, starting 11. It's an empty set right here. All right, they call the fade from a slot fade. All right, they get past interference call. It's an empty set. It's 939. All right, you see it's 939. Great offensive coordinators are able to see mismatches and not just come right to it immediately, but come back to it eventually. Penix. Keeper all the way. Penix around. Okay, you look here, you'll see. It's a bunch of the right. You're gonna utilize this motion by Polk to get some motion action to get people to move on the defense. All right, you see how much movement is on the defense with that motion by Polk. Now they're gonna do a toss play, but they're gonna use Penix. All right, down by, by Colt, by Westover. You got the tackle, right tackle, and Johnson coming around as the lead blockers to make sure Penix walks into the end zone. That's a great team effort. Block it too. Quick throw. Making the catch is Giles Jackson. I put this on here because I really like the route by Giles Jackson and just taking what the defense gives you by Penix. This is still right here. All right, you give me off coverage from a short split, run an easy out route. Penix knows he has it. He's going to give it to him. But this is great by Giles Jackson on not just getting the ball, going to the sideline, but he does a great job of getting the ball. Once he gets the ball, doing something with it. He gets the ball because he knows he has some separation. Instead of going out of bounds, he does a great job of getting upfield. Receivers, you don't always have to be fancy. Sometimes it's just about catching the ball, getting upfield, and getting some more yards. Final minute now of the first half as Penix heaves it down into the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Odunze for a second time tonight! Like I told you earlier, when OC see something, they go back to it. Here we go. Minute left in the first half. Slot fade again, but they complete it with a better ball by Penix. Rome does a great job of jabbing, 
to get him to hold the DB to hold his feet. And then once he jabs and gets him to hold his feet, he just runs outside. He got that slot fed. He has all that grass out there. Now, he does a great job right here of leaning back into him. You can see the corner trying to push him, but it is a great job of leaning back into him. By him leaning back into him right here, holding that line, once he turns and fades to the ball, he's the only one that can get there. You can see the corner has nothing that he can do right there. Pressure coming off the curve. It's intercepted. Exist if Bruner gets his hands on it. Really good job here by 42. Climbing a ladder. And anytime that ball gets tipped over the middle, there's always a chance for somebody to come up with it. So you got fourth and 10 in the half. But I just want you to see how team defense works. All right. You know it's fourth and 10. Get your depth. Don't let nothing behind you. Linebacker does a great job of tipping the ball. And when you're in the, where you're supposed to be, you'll get the play. Muhammad does a great job. As Bruner tips the ball, he's following this go route in his zone and just so happened to be in the right place at the right time to get that interception to close out the first half. Third and 10. They run a game up front, twist, and they get near DJ, and he throws a pick. Bart does a great job on this rep right here. Okay, you'll see this safety at the top of the screen drop down. Just cover one right here. Okay, he's square. He keeps his pedal inside. He slows his feet to a scoot technique so that way he can break laterally either direction. He breaks in. Once he sticks that foot in the ground, that left foot in the ground, he's out of there cutting underneath him. All right, as the receiver builds up field, he cuts underneath him to get that pick. This is a great play right here. Receivers to the right, empty backfield. Penix looks to the other side and goes to his reliable weapon, went in down. Okay, we got 33 right here. If UW gets the first down, they win the game. All right, so they do a great job with the shift in motion by Coach Grubb. You can see the defense is disgruntled. Then we have the motion by Bernard. Okay, there's four receivers on that side. You have one-on-one -on -one matchup with your number one receiver. What does Penix do? He takes that matchup with a back shoulder throw, which is executed to perfection. Look right here. You'll see the defense doesn't know what to do, but look at this picture that Penix sees. He sees a one-on-one -on, -one on the backside. You have to give your number one receiver an opportunity to get that ball. And Penix and Adunze clutch to get the victory for the dogs. Thank you for tuning in to episode five of the Catch and Cover series with Warrior Academy. We broke down highlights from the University of Washington versus Oregon State game. I hope you learned a whole lot to elevate your game from understanding, tools, drills, techniques to really elevate your game and really lock in on the Warrior way. Until next week, have a great Thanksgiving.